Hey guys, Fatigue here, and today I bring you another StarCraft 2 Shoutcast. And in today's Shoutcast, we've got some Protoss vs. Zerg gameplay on the Shakuras Plateau, and there's going to be some Master League gameplay up in here. In today's match, we have Athene wins, the best paladin in the world, spawning as the red Protoss in the bottom right corner of the map. And we've got Lucky Fish spawning as the blue Zerg in the top left corner of the map. There's a rumor. There is a rumor going around that Athene wins is not actually Athene playing StarCraft 2. It is actually Kiwi Kaka playing in the ladders under Athene wins. Some people say it's Athene. Some people say it's Kiwi Kaka. I don't know. I would not be surprised if it was Athene. I would also not be surprised if it was Kiwi Kaka playing as Athene. And Athene was pretty much just trolling everyone saying that he was good at StarCraft because, you know, he is a professional troll. He is very exceptional at trolling. So anyway, on with the show. Looking at the resources panel right here. Nothing too crazy going on at the start of the game here. We just got some openings going on. We got that pylon going down right by the ramp. Going to give Athene a little bit of visibility over by the ramp. You know, could it either be Athene or Kiwi Kaka, but I'm just going to go with Athene because it'd be so much more awesome if it was Athene. Let's be real here. Going down in production, we've got the Vest Bean geyser the extractor down right there pretty early gas for a zerg player gas going down before the spawning pool so of course i mean it goes without saying that we're going to see a gas heavy build here for the zerg player and we've got an assimilator going on over that best being geyser right there for athene so pretty gas heavy builds athene is a little bit more you know standard with his gateway than his assimilator but you know very, very fast gas for Lucky Fish there, especially for Zerg, going down even before the spawning pool. So, very interested to see what his further build order is going to be as we approach the um, later part of the opening of the game here. And we've got that Cybernetics Core going down on the ramp, doing a little bit of a wall-in to perhaps block the road for some Zerg units that be coming in. You know, those annoying Zerglings, you don't just want to give them a straight shot up your ramp. That'd be stupid, that'd be annoying. What you want is just a little road so you can just let your guys just shell away at them while they die and we have also got over there we have zergling speed being researched as we have four zerglings coming out straight away as we do have a zealot in production out of the gateway right here as this cybernetic score is going to finish and create a little bit a little bit of a wall in right there just a little bit and we've got a little bit of a pylon back here just keeping watch in the back of his base so there's no crazy stuff going on with these destructible rocks back here that is the thing which occurs if you wanted to you could destroy these rocks and expand right back here or you could do a backdoor attack which would take a little bit of time run out of your base right here as we see lucky fish throwing down an expansion right there come on down and do a backdoor assault but you got to take two de down two destructible rocks that take a little bit of a while but no matter we have this stalking probe for Athene winds being taken down by two zerglings that he, he goes into the base we'll see that there is, in fact, an expansion being built by Lucky Fish, but this probe looks like it will be taken out by the Queen. Oh, yep, taken out. Taken out as we have a pylon and a probe building two more gateways, trying to wall off this ramp right here for some aggression. We do have a Zealot and a Stalker on the field now. Origin out of that natural expansion point to defend a pylon and two gateways to defend this ramp to the natural expansion right there. So Athene wins. Definitely going to be looking to ex expand, looking at the resources tab. I'm sure soon... As he hits the mineral mark, he is going to expand. We even see that he's got a pro waiting right there. As we see a Zergling denied as he... Lucky Fish will, in fact, see the wall in on the ramp right there. And this natural expansion is now up and running as he is beginning the transfer of a couple drones coming down to begin to mine. There we go. We do have an observer coming around the back of the natural expansion to check out as we do see the expansion go down for Athene Winds. We'll see that expansion go down, and then we'll turn around to not cause harm to his observer as we see two more Zerglings coming in for scouting information. We'll see the completed wall in of the gateways as those are morphing into warp gates as warp gate technology has been researched. Going back to the production tab right now, we do have three sentries underway. We have an units comp right now of four sentries, one stalker, and one zealot for the Protoss player. Very heavy on the sentries. Very heavy on the sentries. Sentries are very good against Zerg because, you know, they can get that wall in and just boom. Especially with the four. Boom, 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 boom. Trapping all those Zerglings. They're screwed. They're not going to have anywhere to go after that. You're 
You're walled in by four sentry bubbles. What are you going to do with that? I don't know. Clearly just die. That's going to happen. We do have a roach warden down for the Zerg player. Looking at the production tab. Will we be seeing any roaches? The Eunice tab. Oh, uh, no roaches yet. No roaches yet. But of course, with the roach warmer, we are going to see some roaches in production. Do have a little Zergling right here. Keep him watch in case of an uh, A move. Offensive move. Offensive doesn't start with A. That was completely stupid of me. Anyway, just to watch to be sure. And we've got him waiting right outside the gates right there. In case of anything, we do see a second expansion. Third base in total going down here for Lucky Fish. And he is just pretty much capitalizing on the defensive play, sort of, of Athene. And building expansions. I do see some photon cannons going down at the wall in right here. So... Playing very defensive, very defensive, does not want that front door of the natural expansion, really. The front door of his whole little Protoss empire he's got going on down here to be penetrated at all. We do see some more upgrades being researched. And we do have a Phoenix underway for some scouting information and possibly for some harassment to pick up those drones in the supply lines and, of course, destroy them, pick up some Zerglings, because the only anti-air as of right now is the queen and we do have some roaches on the field at the edge of that creep right now for lucky fish going back into camp of theme do have that second assimilator going down at the natural expansion giving him a total of four assimilators we do have two phoenixes on the field with a third in production that is going to do some massive economic damage as the roaches will not be able to take out those phoenixes ladies and gentlemen we do have protoss ground weapons being researched to make those ground infantry troops stronger but we do still only have one zeal one stalker but lots of sentries very interesting play with lots of sentries here again i'm sure he's going for the bubble strategy to just trap him in not let him move oh but the zella might be running to his imminent doom and his hope to get some scouting information line of sighting going to the zelnaga watch hour he has a zergling in his sights that he is pursuing oh but lucky fish has all the info he needs right here he will see him going oh that zealot is done for Oh, he's going to get just surrounded by roaches, just destroyed, as those roaches will take that Zelnagawash Hour, but we do have some phoenixes moving over into the, towards the expansions of Lucky Fish, as they will take out that Overlord, as we go to the resources tab. Oh, the Zerg player not quite supply blocked yet, in fact, the Protoss player is closer to being supply blocked than the Zerg player. We do have four phoenixes moving over, going to take out another Observer, and that Observer will go down with ease as this Queen is coming over to aid. Just going after these overlords right now. Picking up the queen and destroying the queen. That queen should go down a little bit easily. Maybe a little bit harder than the observers. Oh, that queen is going to go down. We do have the second queen now being picked up and destroyed just as easily. So two queens going down for Lucky Fish. And this Phoenix harassment has proven to be extremely successful. Will we be seeing any counters to this? We do see a Spire in production right now to counter the... Um, phoenixes and some sprawl crawlers being researched but will it be in time he's getting those overlords out of there quickly as they will lead to his imminent dune as the zerg player is now supply blocked picking up all the drones to try to do some economic damage and just completely destroying the supply line right now and the resource line the building line anything you can possibly destroy right now of the zerg players economic game great phoenix harassment by a fiend right there as that third queen will go down. In the production tab right now, we do have eight corruptors being researched. So that will definitely cause problems to the phoenixes right there. As we do see an offensive attack of this pack of roaches at the front door of Athene's base. So we do have three photon cannons at the front door and two warp gates posing a little bit of a defense as that army will retreat and go back to base. Moving across the map right now, we do have the corruptors moving towards the phoenixes. They will attack the Phoenixes, but who will win? The Corruptors of the Phoenixes. Athene is retreating with his Phoenixes, trying to get him back to base. As he is trying to micro those Phoenixes to maybe take out a Corruptor. But he is sending those back home. As you do see, a uh, third expansion going down here for Athene. But, oh, if the army of roaches catches it. Oh, that expansion will be gone so quick. Oh, those roaches are going to see the expansion. They're going to take out the pro. That expansion needs to be canceled. As they'll see it. They'll destroy it, but we got this Protoss army moving after Athene's army. There goes the Sentry Bubbles. There goes the Force Field. Oh, and those stalkers could be taken down, but will this expansion survive? It is very low on health. More units being warped in right here, but will they survive the warping? They will, and all those roaches will be taken out. The expansion will survive and go under construction as planned. Great defense on that expansion by Athene. Moving his troops in for the flank to take out the roaches. 
Looking at the unit comp right now, we do have five sentries and five stalkers and five immortals on the ground right now for the Protoss player. As only three mutalisks, three roaches, but eight corruptors. Now, those eight corruptors are pretty much going to take over the air as it stands right now with those phoenixes. Those phoenixes, I mean... They're not going to be able to take out eight Corruptors. And we do have another expansion going down for Lucky Fish. And another expansion as he is just trying to take over this map right now. We have the Phoenixes hovering over the Zelnaga Watch out for a little bit. He will see this expansion with the scouting information gathered from the Phoenixes. As he is going to the back door of the Zerg main base to try to do some economic damage. Looking at the production tab right now. Lots and lots of upgrades. Especially for the air right now. Oh, but those Phoenixes are, are just getting shelled. By the Corruptors as they try to do some economic damage. So those Phoenixes are pretty much rendered useless right now. With all these Corruptors in the air. They can straight counter those Phoenixes. And cause lots of problems for the Protoss player as he tries their hats. We do see two Assimilators going down at exactly the same time for a theme. As those expansions are going to be up and underway. We do see an offensive attack. Airborne Mutalisks and Corruptors moving towards this Protoss expansion. Will these? Oh, they're just getting taken out by the second. Those probes need to get out of there quick if they value their worker lives. And the Mutalix will retreat as the Protoss army draws near. But there is still... That is a massive air fleet. I'm not sure if Athena is going to be able to defend off that. She's now moving into Athena's main base. Attacking the supply line. Looking at the units lost tab. The Zerg player has lost more. But there is just so much economic damage. Right now as he is just switching those air units from expansion to main. Expansion to main. Moving here. Going to take out this Nexus. Will he be able to as those shields are getting lower? The, the defensive army is moving towards the uh, air fleet as they continue to harass. As this air fleet is going to retreat just a little bit. We do see these phoenixes hanging out just over here. Ready to do some harassment when need be. And we got them going to take out the nexus again. That shield is getting lower and lower and lower. Will these... Have Defensive troops able to make it there on time. They are now attacking the direct health of the Nexus as oh, The air fleet is retreating once again as we do see another expansion going down here for the Zerg player. I'm um, the Protoss player, excuse me. He is ha he's been having he's having a little bit of a hard time holding this one down as he is building massive photon cannons around it to stop this harassment. But my question is, will he be able to hold down this one with the Zergling beating down on it already? So the Zerg player is well aware of this expansion. In fact, I do believe he might be setting his Mutalist fleet up to, in fact, stop this expansion in its tracks of the production. We do see the Corruptors rallying at the edge of the creep right here. And a small ground army consisting of roaches for the Zerg player waiting back there. As we do see the Mutalist attacking this Nexus. I'm not sure if this Nexus will be able to make it. As we, yeah, that Nexus is canceled. No chance. No chance on that one. But five expansions for the Zerg player right now. Looking at the resources tab. He is demonstratively ahead of Athene in resources right now. And Athene is almost 200 at 200. And we do see the Mutalix harassing the supply line right there. But quickly fought off by the Warped In units and the Immortal. Just a massive air attack. On Athene's base is just an air fleet. And Athene only, cra only countering with ground troops is taking quite a little bit of a gamble right now. I mean, he does have a massive amount of Stalkers. And we do see the High Templars. They see a ground fight right now. The Sentry's force fields are going down. Sentry of the Roach Army. But that is a lot of Roaches as the Mutalists are coming in to try to do some damage. And the Zerg is retreating. But drawing the Protoss back onto the Creep. Which is exactly what he wants to do. Which is exactly why I think he's now retreating his army. Granted, that is a lot of Roaches. That is... 31 roaches paired to 13 stalkers, 5 sentries, 9 immortals, but 3 high templars. And those high templars, when they throw storms down on that army, that is just going to be brutal. And he is, in fact, opting to go for the back of this base again. But even though just photon cannon surrounding it, I do not think he's going to go through this attack. Because we do see another attempt at an expansion right here. For the Protoss player, we do see just little bits. Hydralisks. Oh, but oh, those Hydras will be quickly fought off as he is trying to defend that expansion any way he can. He's a catch up economically, and there is a mothership on the field. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. A Protoss mothership. Damn right. And all those are going to be cloaked. Lucky Fish isn't going to have a clue where they are. They're cloaked under a goddamn mothership. That mothership is going to send freaking buzzing little golden bugs around the mothership. 
And Lucky Fish isn't going to be able to do a damn thing about it as this expansion is going to be completed and underway with all of this. Protoss defense, but the mothership needs to get over there in time as there is now this air fleet moving into the expansion, but retreating very quickly as he sees the amount of stalkers in anti-air. It is on the side of the Protoss. And very soon, this mothership. A mothership, baby. Yeah! We do see yet another massive amount of photon cannons to defend this expansion. And I would not be surprised to see an all-out push from Athene very soon with this mothership on the field. As we have seven photon cannons in production for defense. So Athene is very well aware... Of the air harassment that has been getting him all game. So he's getting ready to do a push right now. So he goes, okay, I'm going to set some photon cannons at the back. Warping in more high Templars. Oh, God, this is going to be a crazy army. I'm going to set some photon cannons at my base to defend while I do this push. So I can focus on kicking the hell out of the Zerg player and destroying him. At least I hope that's the plan or I just made myself look like an idiot. It's like he's sending the Stalkers to defend his base. And those, that air fleet is going to turn around right away as we do see a, yet another expansion go down here for the Protoss player. So many Photon Cannons right there. As you do see the push onto the creep, will the Mothership be following behind? I would expect it to. I mean, oh wow, we have Archons right there. Oh my god. This is just a crazy unit comp right now for Athene. This is a very good unit comp. The only thing this Zerg player has are those, of course, Burrowed Roaches and, of course, unit count. Whereas the Protoss player has a unit comp on his side. So it's going to be a very interesting grand battle when we see them commence. But we do have the cloaked units right here. We do have the Burrowed Roaches right there. Those are going to pop up, but will they get denied by the Photon Cannons? I'm very curious about this. Oh, there goes one Photon Cannon now. They are going to get out of there quick as... Here comes this Protoss army in the back, trying to take out this huge empire in progress of Photon Cannons and a Nexus. But we do have the Protoss army flanking in the back, and they will take out those Roaches. So this Nexus looks like it will be completed, along with a few Photon Cannons, for some quick defense right there. Doing some great damage to the Zerg army right there, as he has reduced 16 Roaches. Versus his previous count of over 30. That was a very over-exasperated push by the Zerg player. As we are seeing Athene pushing with his whole army, I do believe this is going to be a lot, especially with the bonus mothership on top of it. Yes, I am so excited to see this mothership just destroy everything. We do see the spine crawlers as we have that stalker going into game scout information of what he's up against. We do have brood lords on the field, though, and that could counter this brother's army very easily as they're all going to be cloaked. Under this mothership, here we go! Here comes the battle! We have mothership versus broodlords. Those broodlords aren't gonna stand a chance against that mothership. Oh my god, there is the vortex! Oh my god, that mothership is so powerful! They're just all getting sucked in, and they're gonna get destroyed! Holy shnikes! Just boom, 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 boom! That Zerg army did not even stand a chance! A fraction of a chance, nonetheless! Just getting... That's like a black hole! Just sucking all them in. What can the Zerg player do? There goes all the storms. The answer is absolutely nothing. The Zerg army did not even stand a chance for that. Oh my god. That was crazy. That was just... Boom. 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 Yeah. Lucky Fish just doesn't even know what the hell to do at this point. That is just... I expect to see the GG any second now. <laughs> of course, Athene... Being the troll just goes, what? What, dude? What the hell's the problem? Archon Toilet. That is it. That was the Archon Toilet, ladies and gentlemen. Flushing in all of those players, those units, and just doing a mass amount of damage to them. Brilliant, brilliant gameplay. Well, not really brilliant, but goddamn, the mothership was awesome. That just was the icing on the cake. There's a the GG. Thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe because your comments, your feedback helps make my shoutcast better. Of course, subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more of these videos. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys later.